The Dunnigan YMCA, opened in 2005, recently underwent a major expansion in order to better serve its members. During today's visit, we will learn about the new rooms, equipment, and programs that came with the expansion from the CEO of the Southwestern Indiana YMCA's, Mr. Derek Stewart. Hi, I'm Vince Robinson with the EVSC Community Link, here today at the Dunnigan YMCA with Mr. Derek Stewart, CEO of the YMCA of Southwestern Indiana. How are you doing today, sir? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. So the YMCA here at Dunnigan recently underwent a major expansion. Can you tell me when that expansion began? We started back in March of uh, 2012 with the facility side of it. We started raising money long before that, and we completed the project just about a month ago. Um, how much did the renovation cost, and how was it paid for? Total investment was right about $3.5 million. We spent the better part of a year out seeking support from friends and donors to the YMCA. We raised the full amount that it took to make this project a reality. Were there a lot of local companies involved in the construction? We did. We engaged Danco Construction to manage the construction project. And then we had 20 other companies that were involved in different aspects of the, of the construction, pretty much all of which were local companies and, and all did a fantastic job. So the Y's mission is to bring wholesome principles and apply them to a healthy mind, body, and spirit, correct? Mm -hmm. How is this renovation going to help you guys further that mission? You know, much of the, of the work of our YMCA is, in, is in involved in bringing families together, bringing people together in a community where they can grow in spirit, they can grow in mind, they can grow in body. And we just need space to accomplish that. So whether it's in our youth development area where kids are engaged in activities to help them develop better reading skills or develop greater self-esteem, self or whether it's in a teen center like the one we're standing in now where kids get to play together, they get to have fun, they get to build long-lasting friendships. Um, it takes space and facility to be able to accomplish those things, and that's, uh, that's what this renovation was really all about. Well, do you have a few minutes to show us around? Absolutely. Vince, this is our Youth Development Center. It's a home for our preschool programs. So all, pre all programs that serve kids, really kindergarten, under the age of kindergarten, will be in this space. Um, you know, we currently have a preschool that serves about 15 kids per class in the mornings. And then next year, we'll be able to expand that to mornings and afternoons, and then a variety of summer programs that will happen in this space as well. Well, what does the new development center provide that the old one didn't? It's about twice the size of the old space. Uh, and so it provides a place where kids can interact in an environment that allows them to be creative, to, to be able to move around, and to be in a room that's appropriate for 20 kids in here at once. We also added a bathroom, which <laughs> creates a safer environment for kids to be able to go and use the restroom and make sure that our teachers can maximize the amount of class time that they have available. How many teachers do you have as compared to the students here in the development center? We generally run about a one to eight student to teacher ratio. And so we have 16 kids in our class and we have two teachers that are here all day. This space will be used year round. Um, currently we have preschool programs that go from 8.30 until 11, Monday through Friday. We'll expand those next school year to include afternoon programs. And then during the summer, we run a preschool summer camp where kids are here as early as 6.30 or 7 in the morning and their parents may pick them up as late as 5.30. So this will be a space that's used 12 months a year for a YMCA. Um, is the program open to everybody who wants to sign up? Absolutely. The program's open to members, to, to people that are not members of the YMCA. They're interested in having their kids involved in quality programs here. Uh, the YMCA is for everyone. Well, um, coming to our new classroom, we have a lot more space to teach them. We, start, we teach early reading skills, their alphabet, their numbers, their letters. We also teach them and the majority of the day is spent on social skills because so much of school is learning to share and to love school. We feel like if we can teach them to love preschool and pre-K, they're going to love kindergarten and love school from there on out so they get a positive start to their education. So where are we now? Vince, this is our expanded wellness center. When we first built this facility, at the track was where this room stopped. And so we knocked off that wall, added about 4,000 more square feet to the east. We are able to double the size of the wellness area, add more equipment, add a more appropriate space for our free weight workouts. Really a great place that serves teenagers age 14 and over and adults uh, and seniors as well. There, there's a lot of people going around and helping others who are trying to work out. Are they, does Y offer fitness coaches or trainers or anything like that? Absolutely. We offer three things that are, that are really designed to help people get committed and stay connected to their workout plan. One is we have a system called Active Tracks, and this kiosk here is our Active Tracks workout system where you come in, you go through about a 30 minute wellness evaluation, you determine what your wellness goals are, and then each week when you come in, this computer will create a workout for you. It'll be a unique workout for you each time you come here based on the equipment that's located here at our YMCA. 
Then we offer wellness coaching, which is a six-week program designed to get people started in their wellness activities. And then lastly, for those people that really want a higher level of one-on-one -on -one support, we offer personal training as well. So what all kinds of equipment, there's obviously a lot of equipment here, what, what all kinds of equipment do you have here? You know, there's basically three kinds of equipment. One, you have cardio, and so pretty much everything toward the front of the room is cardiovascular equipment, treadmills, bikes, stepper, step machines, elliptical machines. Then sort of on the back side, closer to us, you have what's called selectorized equipment, which is basically controlled weight equipment. And then in the very back to the far right, we have all of our free weights are located back there as well. You know, more than anything, uh, from a new equipment perspective, before we didn't have any cardio equipment that had embedded televisions. And so with the expansion, we created the capacity to be able to have equipment that has televisions that are embedded into the, into the equipment. So for a person that wants to do a 30 or 40 minute bike ride, now they've got the ability to, to watch a television show while they do that, which is something members have liked. Yeah, I bet they really like that. It's been well received. Well, now we're in the cycling studio. We are. We've got 18 bikes in here. This is uh, one of our most uh, highly participated in aerobics classes that we offer, which is spinning classes, and it's aerobics on a bike. Uh, you burn more calories in an hour of spinning than just about any other activity you can do at the YMCA. When is the new cycling studio open? Well, these are group exercise classes, and so these are scheduled classes that people participate in. We offer in total about 65 group exercise classes a week. Of those 65, Probably 18 of those are cycling classes. And so we've got morning classes, midday classes, and evening classes. Uh, they don't require you to sign up. If you're a member of the YMCA, these are free and a part of your membership. Uh, you just show up at the time listed on the uh, group exercise schedule, and you participate in the classes being held that day. And what kind of activities do they do in the cycling classes? Well, primarily hard bike riding. And uh, as a person that cycles on, on, on an occasional basis, I can tell you it's one of the best workouts you're going to get. Uh, you'll do a variety of climbs and, and, and slow, slow, longer rides. You'll do some up downs and uh, a lot of climbs and things like that that are, de that are designed to you know, get your heart rate up, to burn a lot of calories, and to help you, help you stay in shape or lose weight, depending on what you desire to do. So you spoke about being a member of the Y and getting into these classes. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, the YMCA is a membership organization, and so we serve you know, over 18,000 members in our community today. Uh, there is, uh, our commitment as a YMCA is not to turn anybody away due to their inability to pay. So we have a very strong financial assistance program that makes access to the YMCA affordable for low-income families. And then we have our regular rate structure, which depending on whether you're a corporate uh, member, depending on if you're joining as an individual, a senior, youth only, or as a family, those rates are vary. But the, the key component of our, of our rate structure is the desire to make the YMCA accessible to people from all walks of life. So where do people like to go when they're done cycling and they're all, they're all sweaty? Well, most people go take a shower and go home, but <laughs> I will show you a couple of other places on this side of our building and then we'll go back over to the, uh, to the other areas as well. Okay. Vince, this is our new youth and family gym. It provides a place, a gym space for families. Uh, you have to generally have children to be in here during, during our, our busiest times. We wanted to create a place in our YMCA where a dad could come in with his you know, 12-year-old kid and play basketball or a mom with her 13-year-old kid and play basketball and not feel like they were being pushed off the, the court by the bigger kids. And so this youth and family gym provides that. And then we can divide this space into two large program spaces and we can hold gymnastics classes or cheerleading or a variety of other programs that we hold in our YMCA that are youth focused will happen in this, in this youth and family gym. Vince, this is one of the more exciting parts of our expansion, which is our outdoor splash pads. So we're really excited about this space. Well, it's not in use now, but will the splash pad be open regularly or on a special schedule? No, it'll be open. Once, once the weather turns and it gets warm, probably April, May, we'll open it. And we'll leave it open uh, pretty much through the summer and on into early fall. We'll shut it down. And, you know, this time of day will depend on sort of usage trends, but it'll be a great place for preschool age and early elementary school kids uh, just to be able to be outside, have a little fun. You, know, you don't have the risk of being in a swimming pool, but uh, hopefully some parents and families really enjoy this area. For the EVSC Community Link from the Dunnigan YMCA, I'm Vince Robinson.